Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Malabsorption Syndromes Introduction Your small intestine digests most of the food that you eat. If you have a malabsorption syndrome, your small intestine cannot absorb nutrients from foods. This can cause many health problems. Treatment of malabsorption syndromes depends on their cause. It may include lifestyle changes, medicines, and other therapies. This program explains malabsorption syndromes. It covers symptoms and causes of malabsorption syndromes, as well as diagnosis and treatment options. The digestive tract. The digestive tract is made up of organs through which foods pass. The small intestine is part of the digestive tract. Swallowed food goes through the esophagus, which is the feeding tube. Next, food passes through the stomach, where it is partially digested. Digested food goes from the stomach to the small intestine. The small intestine is the longest part of your digestive system. It is where most nutrients are further digested and absorbed into the body. The small intestine has three areas. Duodenum. Jejunum. Ilium. Fibers in digested food finally reach the colon. In the colon, the rest of the nutrients get absorbed and stools are formed. Stools, also known as feces or poop, are stored in the last part of the colon before being excreted. This part of the colon is made up of the sigmoid colon and rectum. Stool leaves the body through the anus. The inside wall of the small intestines is called the mucosa. The mucosa of the small intestine contains many folds that are covered with tiny, finger-like growths called villi. The villi allow the small intestine to absorb nutrients. Symptoms Symptoms of different malabsorption syndromes can vary. A common symptom is a change in stools or bowel movements. Other common symptoms of malabsorption syndromes include bloating or gas, chronic diarrhea, weight loss. Some people may also avoid specific foods as a result of malabsorption syndromes. Certain foods may cause symptoms while others do not. In children, Malabsorption can also result in poor growth or failure to grow. If you notice these changes or other symptoms, talk to your healthcare provider. In most cases, treatment is more successful the earlier a problem is diagnosed. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Causes there are many possible causes of malabsorption syndromes. Causes of malabsorption syndromes include celiac disease, lactose intolerance, short bowel syndrome. Celiac disease is a digestive disease in which eating gluten damages the small intestine. Gluten is a protein in wheat, rye, and barley. It is found mainly in foods but may also be in other products such as medicines, vitamins, lip balms, and even the glue on stamps and envelopes. Lactose intolerance is when the body is not able to digest the sugar called lactose. Lactose is found in milk and other dairy products. Lactose intolerance is usually not serious. It is estimated that 70 to 75 percent of the world's population has various degrees of lactose intolerance. Short bowel syndrome happens after surgery to remove half or more of the small intestine. You might need surgery if you have a problem with the small intestine from a disease, injury, or birth defect. This can affect the amount of nutrients your small intestine absorbs. Other causes of malabsorption syndrome are certain medicines, genetic diseases, Whipple disease. The use of certain medicines may cause a malabsorption syndrome. For example, using laxatives or antibiotics may lead to diarrhea and prevent the small intestine from absorbing nutrients. 
Genetic diseases may also cause malabsorption syndromes, including A beta lipoproteinemia, cystic fibrosis, Schwachmann Diamond syndrome. There may also be other causes of malabsorption syndromes. Ask your healthcare provider about other possible causes. Diagnosis Your healthcare provider will ask about your symptoms and medical history. He or she will also perform a physical exam. A blood sample may be taken and sent to the lab for testing. Blood tests can help detect low levels of vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients. A stool sample may also be tested. Stool collected over 72 hours can measure excess fat loss in the stools, which is a sign of malabsorption syndromes. Another test that may be done is the hydrogen breath test. This test measures hydrogen levels in your breath after you drink a liquid containing lactose. If you have lactose intolerance, hydrogen levels in your breath rise after ingesting lactose. Other tests used to diagnose causes of malabsorption syndromes are D. xylose absorption test, pancreatic function test, small bowel biopsy, x rays. Treatment Treatment for malabsorption syndromes depends on the cause. The underlying condition must be treated in order to reverse the malabsorption. For example, a malabsorption syndrome may be caused by celiac disease. If this is the case, all gluten must be removed from your diet. No treatments can cure lactose intolerance. People with lactose intolerance usually find relief by reducing the amount of dairy products they eat and using special products made for people with this condition. If certain medicines are causing a malabsorption syndrome, your medicine or dosage may be changed. In some cases, you may need to eat different foods or take supplements to make up for nutrients not being absorbed by your small intestine. Sometimes nutrients may be given intravenously or into a vein. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Your small intestine digests most of the food that you eat. If you have a malabsorption syndrome, your small intestine cannot absorb nutrients from foods. This can cause many health problems. Symptoms of different malabsorption syndromes can vary. A common symptom is a change in stools or bowel movements. Other common symptoms of malabsorption syndromes include bloating or gas, chronic diarrhea, weight loss. There are many possible causes of malabsorption syndromes. Causes of malabsorption syndromes include celiac disease, certain medicines, genetic diseases, lactose intolerance, short bowel syndrome, Whipple disease. Your healthcare provider may use lab, imaging, or other tests to make a diagnosis. Treatment of malabsorption syndromes depends on their cause. It may include lifestyle changes, medicines, and other therapies. Thank you for using Explain.